Will, after 15 incredible years, you have decided to call time on your professional rugby career. Why is now the right time to call it a day? I think I, I feel very lucky that I've had a, a long career that I've really enjoyed. I feel my body's in good shape. I'm really enjoying my rugby. I think that's just a really good time to to come out of it whilst I'm still really enjoying it, whilst the body's good. Um, so I think that, that's probably the main reasons really. It's just now, it's just a feeling I guess. It probably feels that, you know, they always say the best time to leave a party is when you're still enjoying it. I think that's probably the case for me. And you've given this club so much and more than that, you've given this game and this sport so much. What has rugby given you back? Oh, a lot, lots of things I guess. I think, you know, it's for 48, 48 weeks of the year, every year, for the last 50, 15 years, it's been my whole life been dedicated towards it in terms of you know, everything's been geared towards playing well on the, on the weekend. Um, so I think it's just, it's just been, it's just given me loads of awesome memories. Um, it's probably given me belief that you can ach achieve, achieve stuff with hard work and, and also just being around 30 or 40 lads that are all driven towards the same goal, all coming in every morning, driven to get better. I think I just, just being in that environment sort of uh, changed my perception on, on things that you want to achieve in and out of the game. And are there any particular memories, any standout feelings that you'll take with you from your career? Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's hundreds of memories loads of different feelings, I think probably proud, like I've loved being on this journey, doing it with my family and my friends sort of supporting and I think probably just feeling of sort of like coming out of scenarios where you probably shouldn't have in, in, in the right right side of it, so sort of you know, certain games over the years I look back probably shouldn't have won, you know, but you just with a team that's with a good attitude and a good mindset and and good preparation, just you can you can achieve you know, things that you didn't think you could achieve as a, as a group and as an individual. So I think those are the sort of feelings I'll take with me. And if you had to say one thing, what will you miss the most about rugby? I think the relationships, I think the relationships you get with, with people is, is like no other. I think rugby is an awesome game for bringing, same with most sports really, just bringing people together. And I feel I've got some awesome relationships with people over the years that you know, if I if I haven't spoke to them for a year or two, as soon as you meet up with them, you just have this special bond, and it's pr pretty unique. I think that you get that from from going toe to toe with players and going into games and into competitive matches with players. It's sort of a bond that um, it's hard to replicate. And everyone at Coventry has loved having you these last two years. What has Coventry meant to you as a, a final chapter, as it were? Uh, I think I said this before, I think obviously in the circumstances I came here, I'd just been made redundant, I wasn't sure where I was going, obviously I had a family um, to look after as well, so I think just I'm so grateful that Coventry reached out um, to me and I think I've just, I, it's been one of the best decisions um, to come here, I've, I've loved my time here, I feel like it's, it's an awesome environment, it's the perfect environment for, for what I probably needed as well, just to go out, enjoy yourself, play, play with a smile on your face, work hard. And sometimes I think in, in rugby, sometimes well, you, can, you can lose the bigger picture of why you play the game. But I think with, with Razor and, and all the coaches, they're, they're big into enjoy, enjoying yourselves and just um, expressing yourself. I think those are, um, that's what I've probably enjoyed the most. Now, last question. What would Will Chudley today tell 15 year old Will Chudley who's trying to make it as a rugby player? I would say you have to believe, like, if you believe in yourself and you're willing to work hard constantly, you know, every day, then you can achieve what you want. And I'd also say that don't let one person's opinion of you um, affect you. Um, you know, there's plenty of coaches that won't rate you. There are plenty of coaches to do, but just just don't let that one person just, you know stop you from 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 being whoever you want to be. Okay.
congratulations on a fantastic career, Will. Thank you. Thank you.